Here we are, Miss Tony. Hey. Miss Tony, Miss Tony, Miss Tony. Incredible woman. From the beginning, when the career thing happened for me, it was a bad thing. The alien baby face only wanted to sign me, it was a bad thing. Because I remember when I told my sisters they were crying. It was a family meeting and my mom and dad didn't really, weren't really speaking to me, they were upset with me. I was told the devil was breaking up our family, the devil was raging, so it was a bad thing. My sister Tracy is the one who said to me, but Tony, you know when you make it, you can help us come on. So I always tried to abide that, but the responsibility of it is so heavy for me. I feel I can, I, like I can never live my life, and I never used to say it, I never used to say anything to anybody, but since we've been doing this show, I've been saying it. Tony needs to ask for what she wants and give herself permission to have it. Did you have to parent that? Sometimes, yeah. Okay. When I was about 14, 13 or 14, my mom, she had a really bad accident. She fell. And her back was really messed up, so she was in the hospital a long time. And so I was a surrogate parent for a moment. Where was dad? Working. Had to make a living at six kids. So what would it look like for you if, if it were different? If you didn't have that responsibility and if they, they weren't leaning on you, what would your life look like? What would you be doing? Well, I would have soared higher. You think so? Absolutely. I'm very clear. You know, I want to do different type of music. I want to do Carnegie Hall stuff, orchestra stuff. And why can't you do it now? Hmm. I'm an old bitch now. <laughs> no disrespect of this. Don't say that to Nancy Wilson. No. <laughs> Whether or not her family supports her, she's going to be OK. And I'm not sure she knows that. I know the burden on you is the one that made it out. But you've got to be willing to let them fly. I feel like I do. I feel like they don't let me fly. I don't. I heard you I say that. I don't give myself permission to fly because there you go. They make That's me it. <laughs> Wait it. That's it. Responsible. I don't all give the time. myself permission. So what is it that you need to say to them that you haven't said to them? What's the rotka truth? I mean, the truth that you maybe haven't said. If you had, if you had ten words to express it, and that's all you could say, what would you say to them? Brought you to what is called a white table. And the white table is where you lay all your stuff on the table. And this table is fashioned after the scripture, James 5.16. And I want to read it to you. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start confessing. Miss Tony, I am confessing that although I love my family, most of the time I don't like my family. Everyone in my family. Take a breath. Everybody. I feel like I'm angry at everybody in my family. I don't like my family. If they weren't my family, they wouldn't be my friends. up on Braxton Family Values. I have to be honest with everybody at this table. I came into this situation to exonerate myself and be right. Tracy. <laughs> that I feel like I'm angry at everybody in my family. I don't like my family. If they weren't my family, they wouldn't be my friends. It makes me sad that I feel that way, but it's the truth. I think Tony said that out of disappointment and anger. If we weren't sisters, we probably would be friends because of the time that we've put in and spent together. Um, but things as of late probably has her feeling a certain way about that. 